Hi, I'm Tracy Letts. I'm nominated for the Minutes. It is Tony Day. It is great to see you, my friend. How are you? Great. Good. <laughs> what, is, what is this day like for you? It's surreal, and uh, I don't take it for granted. I, I, the, these days are actually few and far between, so, uh, you know, I, it's great. It's a, it's a wonderful acknowledgement. It's been such an interesting season because normally you write your play, you cast it, you go into rehearsal, and you open so many plays, including the minutes, and so many others have been started to open, had a few previews, shut yeah. down. I mean, has it just been like this, like a strange time? Oh, the strange time yeah. is an understatement. It's been a time for everybody on this planet, it seems to me, unlike any other time that we've known. And for theater artists, it's been very challenging. I mean, we really had our... Uh, our art form was taken away from us for a couple of years. It's devastated a lot of people, and not just the economic devastation, but the, the a form of expression. It's really, it's been very sad. It's been a tough time. And so to think about the best of circumstances, it takes years to get a play to Broadway. I started writing the minutes in 2016. So add into those circumstances what we've been through in the last couple of years I mean yeah the the first show we canceled for the minutes was the show the critics were coming to see and so we were right on the cusp of opening the show and then since then we the, the court theater closed for renovations so we lost our space and we of course when you shut down you don't know how long you're going to be shut down for I mean Augusto Osage County was shut down during the stagehand strike in uh, 2007 8. Uh, lasted 18 days. We didn't know how long it was going to last. Similarly, here, I remember when we went down, people were like, How long do you think we're going to be out for? A week? Two weeks? Be back in a month? And here we are two years later. So, yeah, very surreal time. What was it like being back in the rehearsal room again for that first time with your company, with your director? I anticipated a lot of a lot of tears, and yet there was also something about it that's just so familiar. The minutes is a there's a lot of old pros on the stage. The minutes people have been doing this a long time, and so the feeling of the rehearsal room is very well known to everybody. And everybody walked in and was like, "Oh, this is this is where we belong, and this is what we do." And people just fell immediately back into their normal roles and rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Yeah. Audiences have fallen in love with your play. I mean, it's so timely. I mean, was there something that, that, that in your mind said, oh, this is what I, the kind of play I want to write when you sat down to write the minutes? Not necessarily. I don't think I necessarily knew what I had. I remember when I first finished it, Carrie, my wife, is always my first reader, and I handed it to her and said, I don't know what, the, I don't know what this is. <laughs> she read it and she's like, I think it's my favorite play that you've written. And then Anna Shapiro had a similar reaction when I showed it to her. I was like, oh, so let's get together and read it. And then it just sort of evolved from there. It, it certainly is gratifying to perform. It, audiences really seem to enjoy it. And they seem very, they're very engaged by the ideas. Sometimes they're infuriated by the ideas. Sometimes, right? There's, but it, they don't leave the theater talking about where they're going to eat. They leave the theater talking about the show. And that's... That's the kind of conversation we're hoping to start. Yeah.